13,780 pounds. This is the Montana 3791RD here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, you could also call this a 3790. The only difference is with Montana, the even numbered um, model numbers represent a gas electric RV refrigerator, whereas the odd numbers like this ends with a one represent a uh, residential electric only refrigerator with a thousand watt inverter. So they kind of have two floor plan numbers for uh, each single floor plan. If at any point you like what you see here, such as this giant drop frame storage here with the uh, resin based no carpet base on here and the easy drop uh, like uh, cleaning bay for your vacuum cleaner system, you can check the link in the YouTube video description down here to see for price and availability. Hi folks, um, to see if we have this in stock how it is equipped because the one that we have in stock might not be this one probably isn't given the fact that this is the number one selling floor plan currently from the number one selling fifth wheel for 15 consecutive years now um <laughs> chances are this one's not going to be here but chances are we'll probably have another one pretty darn close to it um <clears throat> so if you do want to learn more about tank capacities or total measurements and specs and stuff, again, that is one click away in the video description to see the Halet RV website, what we have, how it's equipped, and what we're asking. So as I mentioned, this is and has been the number one selling fifth wheel out there for 15 consecutive years. No one else has come close to that. Well, the only other one that's come close is the Keystone Cougar, which is just the, the little brother, sister, cousin, whatever, to the Montana. So what are they doing at Keystone? that makes them the number one producer of laminated products on the market, especially fifth wheels. No one comes close. <coughs> the answer is a whole bunch of little stuff. Let me count the ways. So Keystone bought their own paint shop. So they do their own paint work. They allow, That helps them do their own quality control for this automotive painted nose cap here. Triple uh, coated, kind of not unlike your vehicle. So this isn't going to like, you know, fade any different than your vehicle would. They have a more ride suspension and pin box system and these are designed to work together. You can get some benefit from only having half the system but it works best when it's all together. Um, the pin box, what this actually allows <clears throat> is for something like three inches of forward to back travel then up to an inch and a half of side to side lateral travel. What this does is it allows the fifth wheel to sort of reconcile small wiggles and movements without bouncing you around in the vehicle. Now, that's nice and all, but uh, that works in conjunction with your big Moride suspension down here. In addition to the leaf springs, it's a vertical shock dampening rubber da uh, ride system. So you've got dual rubber shock dampeners on top of the already present suspension on this. Um, Montana it also has uh, one touch hydraulic automatic leveling. And that's one of the very few differences. People ask, what's the difference between a Montana and a high country? There's a handful of little stuff, but the only thing that really matters, basically, is that Big Montana's hydraulic leveling, um, <clears throat> whereas uh, High Country is electric. So, hydraulic leveling and slides here versus electric leveling and slides in High Country. Now, your main deck is hydraulic here. Your upper decks are still electric because it's it basically, uh, from an engineering standpoint, it makes more sense. Anyway, um, I talked about the big pass-through storage. I do like that they have a private enclosed forced air heated protected docking center over here. And Montana is and has been zero degree rated since 2005. Uh, there's a uh, there's brands out there that like to say how they're the only four seasons rated thing out there. That's funny. <laughs> Montana's been doing it since 05 and counting. Where do you come up with that? There's, you know, and that's the problem with this stuff, guys, especially when it comes to R factors and insulation qualities in this business. There's no whistleblowers. So you have to do some research. You can't take things for granted. And I love that they actually include a little sewer hose caddy right here so that you don't have to mix your, um, you know, outside camping storage with your more sewer related things. Now, sometimes people look at these docking centers and they say these switches are a little bit scary to operate. If you notice, Montana actually takes the time to, to put individual labels on every valve. A lot of manufacturers like to put one sticker up here, which first of all, good luck cranking your neck up there. Unless you're Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, you're never going to twist your neck around to get to that. Secondly, uh, heat exchange on those doors will cause stickers inside of those doors to peel off. It's not going to happen in there. It's just not going to be an issue. Enclosed, forced air heated, insulated underbelly with tank heating pads. Isn't that nice? So uh, you, if you are exposed to a really hard frost or cold or something, you really have that extra hard frost, hard freeze protection. Um, high gloss exterior. Look at the reflectivity there. We can, it, you know, see the mirror image of that uh, big park model type thing back there. 
Now last year they made some significant changes to the outside of this coach as compared to even a few months ago. This is this is the cutting edge of the razor at the time of this filming. This is exactly what they just started looking like. They went to dual side pocket storage and I love that they have easy strut lifts here and even on these doors they still have the nicer bus style slam latches and those are slam latches not compression latches. You can jackhammer those and they're just fine. But what they did is they created this rear easy access low riding outside storage garage and there's not a whole lot of anything else like this on the market leave it to montana once again to redefine things i looked at this and i went holy cow this is just like the basement of a class a diesel pusher including this awesome uh more ride cargo sliding tray and i am telling you guys it is just smooth as silk the way it glides so they make it easy to get to all the storage all the way back there because that's what, that's a concern people had last year's what if cargo shifts i can't climb in there to get it well now the storage comes to you doesn't it so i looked at this and i went omg this is perfect for things like kayaks uh, i mean normally big fifth wheels are not friendly to outdoorsy type people but look at this you could easily have some big kayaks, and I don't even care if you're not a kayaker. Let's say you're not you're not into all that. What what about all your lawn chairs, your bicycles, and all that stuff? You know how cool it is to have a built-in garage just to store bicycles and things. Um, Mr. Halet, our owner, he's a big fifth wheel person himself, and he specifically always puts a receiver hitch on the back of his fifth wheel so that he can um, store and bolt down his bikes when he leaves. Even though he has a seasonal site surrounded by nice people, he's had his bikes come up missing. It helps keep an honest man honest. Well, this is even better because now it's under lock and key and it's out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. All windows open for airflow. All windows UV tinted, obviously. Slide sides. We have sliding panel windows for airflow. Everything else, we're going to have the um, uh, surface-mounted frameless windows. And what I like about these is, let me get over here where you can see it. It hides the seal under a UV tinted window pane, so it's a lot harder for the sun to get to it. Now, this is another neat thing. <coughs> Pardon me. Outside TV standard on this thing. Um, I, I really like the positioning. Basically, they really, really, really borrowed from the diesel pusher inspirations when they put this one together. The TV can come out, you can kick it out, it can angle around to fit your campsite however you want it. And again, it stores under lock and key when you're not using it. And there's a strap system to hold that in place so it doesn't jiggle around in transit. These steps are everything. I love these steps. I call it the now you see it, now you don't step. Um, and it's funny, Montana was the first to do this. And every other manufacturer last year, every other manufacturer, they just, all they could say is, oh, there's, there's, there's this wrong and that wrong and that wrong with it. Well, you know what's funny? Moving into this model year, you know what every other manufacturer is moving to? <laughs> These steps right here. They're aluminum, um, so they're lightweight, but the fact that they have adjustable feet means if, like, this is not even ground, but I could adjust the feet of these steps to, to be solid and sturdy, and you can literally jump on these things. They don't buckle, they don't bend, they don't flinch. I don't, I don't know that a, a human being that can physically fit through the door could ever, ever overstress or, or, or anything on these. And again, they're very lightweight. You see that? Flip it and forget it. You're done. That's all there is to it. And then all we do, close the door. And now we don't have, uh, you know, the, the step well or anything down there collecting dirt and debris and all kinds of junk. It's, it's just another innovation that shows you how Montana is and has been the number one selling fifth wheel for years. And that's why we love having them here at Halet RV. We carry multiple different brands of fifth wheels. There's lots of good things out there, but these are, they're so sterling in so many ways. I gotta do a quick battery swap and I'll meet you back inside. Thank you. All right, battery swapped, moving inside. I wanted to not just skip right inside because they have updated these steps since last year. I wanna show you that, by the way, we have a friction hinged door here so I can throw that and it doesn't slam against the side of the trailer. I really enjoy that effect. On a windy day, this is your best friend. Last year, they had a little latch system and it worked great. There were no problems with it, but when people unlatch it they were afraid the steps would fall down on them did you notice how easily that recoiled when i flipped it up these are self-supporting steps they're not going to fall down and bash you in the head they're not going to hurt your grandbabies guys they are fine anytime you see the name moride they have pretty much 
the highest level engineering available on the market so that you have an idea who Morite is. They literally make, and this is no exaggeration, automatic targeting machine gun and missile turrets that are deployed overseas to keep our country safe. That's no joke. If they can handle something like that, they can handle an entry doorstep in an RV. And now, if you really like these and you want this added to your RV, it can be done, even if they're not present. Give our parts team a call here at Halid RV. We can do that. There's specific information we need, so don't just email us. we got to kind of talk you through it. So right when you walk in, they have a nice coat closet. And I like that because it, it's just a pet peeve of mine. If you see my videos, you know I get annoyed when there's no place to hang a coat by the door. Now, right up here is our nice hidden away command center where the grandkids can't get it. Um, the, uh, I, I let, well, let me flip on a couple things. First of all, we have like overhead indirect track lighting. And really, look at how much that brightens it up in here. Not only is that nice just to make the RV look and feel brighter and larger and more comfortable, but it's the perfect nightlight. Now, something else I like to point out is they have backlit switches. Now, with the interior lights, you're like, why do, why do I care about that? I can see that the light is on. Yes, but what about your awning lights? What if you forget them or something like that? Now we don't have to worry about it. Bang, ceiling lights. Really aggressive lighting package in the Montana family. Um, lighter feels brighter, brighter feels bigger, and bigger feels better, doesn't it, guys? Um, so let's start, work our way to, oh, by the way, when we look at the fabrics and things, this is one 3791 Montana, which remember, the only difference between this and a 3790 is a residential fridge versus a gas electric. There's advantages both ways. We've done separate videos on that. Call us if you're not sure. They're both good in different ways. Neither is bad. They're just different. Um, this is one of these. If you want to see what the one we have in stock looks like, Give us a call or uh, visit our website, halodrv.com. Visit the link in the video description. You can see exactly what we have in stock. Remember, with pricing, and by the way, our pricing is real. We do not have a bunch of extra garbage hidden in addition to on top of our pricing. Everything you expect this RV to include, and frankly, then some, is included in our price tag. We do not charge extra for freight, destination charges, prep fees, um, finance charges, starters bundles, all of that stuff is part of our price tag. The only thing in addition you may expect is just mandatory state fees like sales tax and tags, guys. So this includes not just propane and battery and a water hose, but also 50 amp electrical surge protectors, water pressure surge protectors, 50 to 30 to 15 amp power reducers. So you can get this thing ready or use it at a 30 amp campsite. Everything this RV it, you expect is included because that's how we would expect it. We we don't like having extras and hidden fees and charges, etc. By the way, all of your windows in here um, are these nice... Ooh, I can't get my hands on that one. Here we go. There we go. Easy. These nice pull-down blackout window shades. Nice slow-rise shades. You see that? What I like about these is um, they... Well, one, they just, they, you don't have strings that can break. You know, the, the, the pleated shades are fine. I don't mind pleated shades. They're okay. But those strings can break, and they're not hard to restring. It's just that's not what you want to do. Well, that can't really happen. These type of shades have been in Class A diesel pushers for years. So again, Montana really drawing from the diesel pusher market to bring that into a towable aspect. So you've seen this furniture arrangement a bunch of different times, but I absolutely love what they've done here because remember that underneath this floor we have that mega slide-out tray, cargo, kayak, whatever storage. <laughs> Mother-in-law storage. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for that one. <laughs> My mother-in-law is actually really cool. I got very lucky. Anyway, uh, rem remember everybody, you, you marry the family too. Anyway, there's different interior decors. Basically with Montana, they have two. They have lighter and darker. This is lighter. Now, what you don't see is also important. You don't see the air conditioner. Instead, you see these two hot air returns, or cold air returns rather. This has dual 15,000 Whisper Quiet BTU air conditioning. Um, understand that is unrivaled at this class and price point. At this class and price point, you typically get a 15,000 quiet cool living room AC, but you also typically get a 13,500 non-quiet cool in the bedroom. Sometimes centralized, sometimes not. This is a 30,000 BTU dual centralized, dual whisper quiet system. That is a best in class unrivaled feature for tens of thousands of dollars. You have to go way out of this price point to match that. Again, Montana identifies and standardizes the things that are critical instead of the things that aren't. 
You're only paying for what matters in the Montana. They sure got a lot of it in here. So these are both hide beds These can both kick open into a sleeper. If you want to see what that looks like, um, open uh, up our website and view our picture tour because I have a picture of that there. This TV is not flush mounted. So I've met a lot of couples who like, one of them likes the, the theater seat and one of them likes a sofa. Well, you can kick that sideways and you can have a perfect little, you know, dual couples excursion. Like sometimes one person likes to sit here and lounge with their leg out or whatever. You can do whatever. And I like that they still included windows. A lot of rear entertainments lack windows on the rear wall. But again, Montana's been doing this longer, better than everyone for a long, long time. So it's not a surprise. That's why we love them here at Halid RV. They just do, they, they, they get it. They get it. I don't know how else to say it. They get it. 5120 BTU electric space heating uh, fireplace down here, so you don't need to burn up your propane for a little bonus heat. By the way, it does have a cool little LED fire effect that you can turn off independently of the heating. So if you just want it to look awesome, even though it's midsummer, you can do that too. Um, little detail stuff. Do the wedding ring test. You can hear the difference in hardwood. Again, these indirect lights really help brighten it up and just open it up and feel good in here. Love the sound bar location. I like that they got away from surround sound. Surround sound never worked well in the RV business because it was never like a, a home theater experience, you know? This is a uh, electric um, power recline uh, theater seat, not unlike you might have in your house. Now, it's, it's RV furniture. It's not home furniture. There's a difference there. But again, at this class and price point, no one else is touching this. That's a pontoon style removable armor. So if you want more of a love seat feel instead of a theater, you can do that too. And I like that their cup holders actually even have indirect lighting down there. You do need 110 power to hook this up though. This is not 12 volt capable, but frankly, a big Montana like this, you're probably not putting this uh, on a battery only scenario anyway, especially at the residential fridge. This is something more for seasonal park type use like oh my gosh if you're uh, a snowbird if you like live in the midwest or whatever and then you go to hot climates in the winter man i just cannot imagine a better model than this and by the way i don't use liar liar pants on fire fisheye lenses this is exactly what the rv looks like with this six inch vaulted roof and by the way here's another thing montana does different they use composite roof trusses this is something you can't see Basically, it's not um, galvanized steel. It's not aluminum. It's not wood. It's uh, it's a uh, like a, a like a like a fiberglass, like a high stress carbon fiber ish like thing. It's not carbon fiber. That was a bad phrase. That's what it looks like though. Anyway, it has the insulation qualities and the ability to deflect a snow load or a heavy load like wood, but it has the light weight of aluminum and galvanized steel. So it has all the benefits of all other roof truss systems all in one. Why isn't anybody else using it, guys? Montana, you know? Because it, it does cost a little more. But this is a critical area. Your roof is a critical area of the RV. You know, they are stronger here. So you've got your big uh, residential refrigerator, again, that 1,000 watt inverter. With a residential fridge, I recommend this model more for something uh, with less frequent towing. Again, such as snowbirding, where you're going to spend two, three, four months here, two, three, four months there, bounce around. This is perfect for that kind of thing. And killer storage in this kitchen. So you've got this pantry built right into the slide out over here. Big floor to ceiling. And mind you, these are six and a half foot tall slides. So you've got six and a half foot tall storage right here. Crazy good storage. All of your drawers our full extension, and look at this oven. Even their oven's different. You got that cool little see-through Furion oven door here. I love that. It just has such an at-home look and feel to it. All of their drawers, plywood constructed, full extension, so you've got easy access to all kinds of storage in here. Let me close these back up. Um, the stove, your stovetop's different in Montana. Notice how different that is? You know what's cool about this? It's basically the only sealed burner system, residential style uh, RV cooktop on the market. Most of these have that black inlay and you have to pull it out and clean all the little grease and stuff that drips down. These are sealed burners. Stuff can't drip down there. All you have to do is pick this up, clean it out just like at home and you're done. That's it. That's a real tile backsplash by the way, not wallpaper. And you have not one, but two of these little pop-up power posts in there. That's, that's some nice alliteration for you. You push that little red button, she goes away. You can make it go away when you need the prep space. Tap it, pull it up, set it and forget it. You've got dual household plugs, dual LEDs to keep anything, everything charged up when and where you need it. Convection 
microwave oven right below the wine rack and they actually understand wine at Montana. That tells me someone there's a wine drinker because this rack is going to hold the bottle at an angle to keep the cork wet. A lot of people don't know you need to do that when you start looking at RVs. Again, the storage just never quits. Montana is a party that just don't stop. <laughs> Now you've got great counter space here. You've got the counter space there again with another real backsplash. And there are, if you look under here, um, extra lights just for accent purposes. This is all storage with the exception of that cabinet. Part of this is utilized for the central vacuum hookups and the little tow kick down there below it. But again, storage, storage, storage all over the place. The island, we're not even done talking about storage. The island, we've got that same matching countertop. Recessed double basin stainless steel sink. Very, very um, glitzy look, feel, function on this. I really like what they've done here. Big high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer so you can clean, you can cook, you can do whatever. But look at this. They actually have additional cabinet space down here, including wastebasket location with additional drawers. A lot of islands do not have extra drawer space. This one gives you three more. We're not even done talking about, you know, I, as long as we're talking about storage, I don't want to... Let's just go ahead and finish the deal. Under the theater seat, they have even more storage because why stop now? And pots and pans for you folks that live in these things long, long term. Where do you keep them? It's hard. That is perfect because you can put big heavy stuff where it's easy to get to, but it's out of the way. That's what I like about it. All right, so <clears throat> Montana dinette. Before we were a Montana dealer, oh man, guys, I hated someone, someone coming. Well, I was also looking at Montana. I'd be like, crap because it was going to be a hard day at the office. And it was always this dinette. Montana's always had the best dinette on the market. And again, they borrowed from the diesel pusher feel and family here. Most of the time, this is a couple's coach. You only need the two chairs. Now, I know that we have the dual hide beds up top where we can sleep everybody and the brother and all that kind of stuff. But this is how it's going to be most of the time. You've got his and hers chairs. You've got a cool couple's dinette. You've got your plugs up here, so if you do some work camping, you need a spot for the laptop or workstation and tablet, you can do all that here. Montana has provided a pair of decor matching fold-away chairs that hide under the bed, and I love the fact that they're, they stand on their own like that, by the way. When these fold down, they look exactly like that, so your guests don't feel like they were put on like folding bench chairs that the WWE wrestlers hit with one another. It looks like that. It's so No one else spends that kind of money on the bonus chairs. But check this out. The table extends, which you probably expected. If you're going to put a couple chairs on here, the table extends. However, the table extends again. It's a dual extension table. Four big adults can fit at this and still have room for maybe a high chair for the grandbaby on the end. Now, again, for your work campers, you need a place to keep your stuff, or if you just need a place for, like, extra salt and pepper, uh, games for the grandkids or whatever, it does it all. Montana only does everything, and they do it better than just about anybody else, guys. That's why they are and have been the number one in their class for so long. That's why I love them here at Halo RV. You know what else I like about these? They aren't really coming back with, like, major glitches. You know, Montana's stay in your driveway, and they just aren't really coming back to ours. By the way, your roof vents up here, they have wall controllers, so I can open, close, turn on, off the vents at varying speeds, all right here from ground level, and you'll see the same thing matched in the bathroom, and I like that residential fan up there to keep some extra uh, air flowing, too. I don't care if you're running the AC, that thing just feels good. Moving upstairs, Montana's use this different little half sliding door, it just sort of melts away. And what it does is if you're walking up the stairs, you can open the door without having to go backwards down the stairs. Now, um, here in the bathroom, flick on the light. We've got plenty of room for our towel space in here. And I don't know if you've been paying attention, but even here in the bathroom, you'll see the same thing as the kitchen. All hidden hinge cabinets, all hardwood cabinet doors um, with hardwood inserts even, you know. We've got our uh, porcelain foot flush stool here with plenty of leg room. We have a uh, one-piece seamless self-reinforced shower with seating. So again, if you're going to be living here, you're going to, you know, shave your legs or something like that. Or let's just say you're a little bit older. You got a hitch in your giddy up and you need to sit down to bathe. You can do that here. And this is actually a one-piece um, all solid surface molded sink and countertop. You look at this and it looks like it's flush mounted, but it's actually seamless. One piece. There's no gaps in here anywhere. It's all smooth and form fitted, so no leaks possible there. 
Moving up into the bedroom, once again, we got a lot of best-in-class stuff. I love the Montana bedroom, because when you walk in, it feels like they should be playing that music from 2001 A Space Odyssey. You should walk in here. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it just, it, woo. Oh my gosh, it just comes to life. I love it. So here we've got a couple really cool things that again, you don't see mirrored unless you're spending tens of thousands of dollars more. You see king beds and big fifth wheels all the time. But notice how Montana puts these big wraparound stands with outlets in the slide out box. I can't stress enough how uncommon that is because you actually have a place for a little traveler friendly CPAP or phone chargers right there. That is not normal. Um, they do have storage under the bed, which in years past, Montana didn't have an easy lift full storage bed like this. But you can see how you've got the, uh, this is the perfect place for those uh, hideaway chairs I mentioned. You don't need to eat up your good closet space for that. And look at this. They, they, the way that they've constructed this, like you've got this multi-tier mega shoe garage, because if you're a person that likes a bunch of shoes or something, there you go. And notice that we've got little outlets in here for various things. People always say, why aren't there outlets in the, in the closet? And it sounds crazy until you've actually gone RVing and realized that would be useful. Stackable, ready, washer, dryer space over here, or you can just use it as a, you know, mega storage area. These are your um, central vac hookups with huge dresser space directly across from the bed and an easy view no neck oh wow look at the re you get to see me on that sorry guys the uh the no neck crank tv this t because they wanted the big window over here which naturally i've covered up with the door and a tv because i'm smart like that um was it good at? oh the the tv is off center so one person's gonna have a little neck strain so they make the tv twist over to be centralized in the bed so that when you're in the middle of the bed you've got the perfect view and no neck cranks isn't that nice? And this is a full walk-in bedroom, even all the way against the wall. I'm not cracking my head in here. And remember that dual whisper quiet AC that I was just ranting and raving about earlier? This is where it matters most. So many manufacturers get this wrong. And they flat out get it wrong, guys. Most manufacturers, and I see, man, I mean, I carry so many different RVs here. I see this all the time. And it, I look at them, I go, obviously you don't go camping, the people who build these. Obviously the guys in Montana do. Because... You're like four feet from where you're sleeping. When that air conditioner kicks on a, a non-whisper quiet AC in the bedroom, it's loud. It's like, Rawr! you know, you're like, oh man, it'll wake you up at night and you'll go back to bed. But then you'll be kind of cranky in the morning until you get the coffee, you know. Well, you're not going to have that problem here. Most manufacturers put whisper quiet in the living room, not the bedroom. It should be backwards or both like Montana's done here. So they only did everything that matters and nothing that didn't. And then so much more. They've done so much more. I should have talked about the entry door. I talked about the steps, but not only is this 30 inches wide, you hear people talk about wider entry doors in the RV business, but what about taller? This is a full, let me open the door here, full residential height door. I'm 6'3". I can stand in the door without hitting my head. That ain't normal. That ain't normal in this business. And I love these steps. Do, 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 do. They're so sturdy. It sets the tone. Everything on this, solid, rigid, reliable, not an accident. It is and has been the number one for so long. Also, not an accident. We're the number one independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan, which is one of the number one states for RV sales. How about that? So I don't care where you live. There, there is no customer who is too far away to work with Halet RV. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, and remember, we don't have extra hidden charges and fees on top of our pricing with Halet RV. We are simple, we're easy, we're fun, we're transparent. We only do everything so you don't have to. So. If that sounds interesting, you give us a call. We look forward to meeting you. We are ready, willing, and able to take care of you. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Well, this isn't camping. This is RVing, and you could argue <laughs> this is glamping. Step on up, give us a call. We'll get you there.